بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹل مین ٹو فیضان زاہد اکیڈمی آفیشیل یوٹیوب چینل اینڈ ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ڈی سی ڈرائیوز سو واٹ آر دی ڈی سی ڈرائیوز ڈیفینیشن کمپوننٹس ایپلیکیشنس یوز ایڈوانٹیجز اینڈ ڈس ایڈوانٹیجز سو واچ دس ویڈیو ٹل دی اینڈ اینڈ لیٹس اسٹارٹ دی ویڈیو واٹ از ڈی سی ڈرائیو ڈی سی ڈرائیو از اے ڈیوائس یوز فار اسپیڈ کنٹرول آف ڈی سی موٹر دا ڈیوائس وچ وی یوز فار دا اسپیڈ کنٹرول آف ڈی سی موٹر از نون ایز ڈی سی ڈرائیو ڈی سی ڈرائیو کنورٹ اے سی پاور ان ٹو ڈی سی پاور ٹو رن دی موٹر ڈی سی ڈرائیو کین بی یوز فار گڈ اسپیڈ ریگولیشن فریکوینٹ اسٹارٹنگ بریکنگ اینڈ ریورسنگ DC drives can be used to supply the voltage to the motor to operate at desired speed. DC drives can be of following types. Non-regenerative DC drives and regenerative DC drives and brushless DC drives. So this was just about the introduction of DC drives. Components of DC drive system. What are the components which are used in DC drive system? Let us discuss. DC drive system can consist of following components. DC drive input. Some d- d- DC drives based on thyristor operate on a single phase supply and four thyristors can be used for full wave rectification. But for large motors, a three phase power supply is required due to smoother waveforms. In such cases, six thyr- thyristors are required for full wave correction. Number second is the bridge rectifier. It is an AC to DC converting device can be used in DC drive systems. For large DC motors, motor drives, there can be a wide use of silicon controlled rectifiers SCRs. The power component of a controlled DC drive can be a full wave bridge rectifier which can be driven by a three phase or single phase supply. Number third is field supply unit. It can provide a constant voltage to the field winding of motor to create a constant field or flux in the motor. A separate thyristor bridge or diode rectifier is used for supplying the power to the field winding of the motor. The next one is speed regulation unit. What is speed regulation unit? The speed regulation of motor is defined as the change in speed from no load to full load. The speed regulation unit compares the operator instruction with the feedback signals and sends the appropriate signals to the firing circuit. Firing circuit. The firing circuit can be used to provide the trigger pulses to get or turn on the thyristors. It can be achieved by using a pulse ampli- amplifier. In this gate drive circuit, isolation is also provided. So these were uh, some components of the DC drive system. Now the next is applications of DC drives. Where the DC drives can be used. So the DC motor drives can be used in rolling mills, paper mills, mine winders, machine tools, traction, printing processes, electric locomotives, motors employed in cranes. These are the some of the DC drive applications. Okay. There can be also other applications, but we have discussed here few of them. Now the next and last one is <laughs> advantages and disadvantages of DC drives. What are the advantages? First, let us discuss advantages. DC drive technology is easy to implement, can be reliable, high start starting torque, wide range of speed control. Now let us discuss about this about the disadvantages of DC drives. Mechanical commutator can the Uh, limit the maximum power rating and speed speed the mechanical commutator present in the dc drives can limit the maximum power rating and speed so ladies and gentlemen this was our today's lecture which was about dc drives alhamdulillah uh, which is completed and 
inshallah in our next lecture we will discuss another topic till that subscribe our channel click on bell icon so that you may get latest updates from our channel through notification thank you so much for watching this video and please give your feedback in comment section